Hello viewers, hope you all are well. I am also doing well. Today we will talk about the setting of QD X6 router. In this video, we will try to show in detail about internet settings and interface. First of all, when you come to the login screen, you will see a screen like this, where you have to log in with user ID and password. The user interface of this router is simply amazing. After login, you will see an interface like this. First, you will see an image of your router and on the left side you will see an internet connection symbol and on the right side you will see an option of how many clients are connected. And if you scroll down one more time, you will see that there are numerous options. Normally a router at this price wouldn't have these kinds of options, but we have to say that the router is a really nice and functional router. If we take a look above, we will see the major tools side by side which we will try to discuss with you in detail. And if we scroll down a bit, we can see the status mesh devices WAN, LAN, WISP, Wireless 2.4, Wireless 5, VPN, DHCP server and system status. If I scroll side by side from the router icon at the top of the home screen, we can see several user graphs with internet connections, from which you can easily see your usage patterns when a device is consuming bandwidth, and in detail through the graph showing where it is possible to show the usage of dual-band wireless signal starting for internet connection. This is really admirable to me, because it's really rare to get this kind of option on a router like this. I personally think the router has added a really nice option for user experience, so let's get a little deeper into the details of the router. Now we will dive into quick settings. And there we can see four types of router settings. Basically, we configure these routers as wireless routers. But if you want, you can configure this router in three ways – wireless access point, wireless extender and WISP. We proceed to install as a basic router. There, we will see three types of connection options – DHCP, PEPPO and STATIC. Internet connection service providers provide internet connection services in three main ways. So you must first know what kind of connection your ISP is giving you. And depending on that, you need to do these settings Basically, most of the ISPs pre-provide PPP connection. If your connection is PPA, then you will get a user and a password will be provided from the ISP. With that user IP password, here you have to fill the PPO option and create. If for some reason your ISP has given you a static or dynamic connection internet, then you must complete your internet connection setting using that option. If you have been given a static connection IP, then you need a gateway IP and a submit mask ID and AIP address. With all this information, you have to complete the static connect. If for some reason you are given dynamic connection, then you don't have to do anything. Just follow the DHCP option and go next. The next option is the Wi-Fi setting where you can set up your Wi-Fi name and password. This router is a dual brand router. So there are two different bands of the router and for each band, you need to set up the Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password separately. I have configured the two band signals separately because since the two band signals are output from the router, you must configure the two band signals separately. And if you want, you can create different passwords for the two band signals. If you want to set up the router through quick setup, then your router setup work will be completed by now. So let's see the functions of general settings. Now we will see the general settings and advanced settings options from the top menu. Let's try to see what settings are inside these options and what we can do with them. First, we will go into general settings and try to know about the options there. First, we can see the option called one mode inside the general settings. Through this option, basically router internet connection setting is created. Here you can set up internet connection in three ways. Dutch CPPPP, and static. In this case, if you go to advanced setting option then, from there you will get McClone option. McClone option is usually required if your ISP is holding or blocking your previous router's map. Then you need to change the make and put the previous router's MAC SID on this router. Here, the second option we see is called wireless ICE. Through this, we can connect wirelessly to any ISP or any ICE or any router. And in that case, we can use the internet from that router through this router. In this option, you can actually see many of your SITIs. In that case, you can select the SID of your wireless I and connect in that case. Or if you want to connect with any other known wireless IP or SIP, 
It is also possible to do that through this option. It basically works like a repeater in many cases, so you can also call this option a repeater. The next option we see is called wireless. With this option, you can perform all functions of your Whirly signal. Since this is a dual band router, you will see two signal names here, a 2.4G wireless signal and a 5G's wireless signal. Through this option, you can change the name of the wireless signal, change the password Wi-Fi channel, transmit power Wi-Fi range, etc. From now on, if you are staying in a very densely populated area and there is a lot of Wi-Fi signal being used, then you must select the auto option from the channel option in that area Otherwise, your router may not work properly. Also, if you complete the connection by leaving the remaining options as they are, your router will work properly. Viewers here, you can see different channel names and channel signals. Change these as you need to see which channel names and signals work best for you. I would say you should scroll down a bit by channel names or channel signals to see if they work equally well with all your devices if not, you can auto pick them up. The next option is channel width. You can set this channel width up to 40 mHz and after that, you can set the option that says transmit power to the high option. And then there is max station. Here you do not give anything. In this way, you will make wireless settings in a beautiful way. If you can do everything well, then you will get very good Wi-Fi range. Next option is VPN. I find this to be the most unique and necessary option of this router. I have not found this option in many expensive routers. With this option, you can connect to many types of VPNs. For example, you can connect with VPNs like WearGuard, OpenVPN, PepTP. To my knowledge, I have not found this option in any router at this price yet. So I would say for those who need this kind of option, this router can be a good quality router and fulfill all VPN needs. After this, we will move inside the advanced settings option and at the very first, there is the LAN option. If you enter this option, you can change the IP of the LAN. The next option is Guest Network option. You can share internet connection with guests coming to your home and create a separate Wi-Fi signal and create a password for that Wi-Fi signal. Since this is a dual band router, when you create a guest Wi-Fi network, you need to remember that in that case, you can create a guest network with 2G and 5G options and create a separate password and SID for them. If you want, you can open one band and keep the other off. Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol to DUTPP is a client anti-server protocol that automatically provides an internet protocol Y, host with its IP address and other related configuration information such as the subnet. In this case, you can limit how many people will access your network and how many people will not access through this option. And you can set up your custom DNs here. IP6 is an internet layer protocol for packet switched internet working and provides end-to-end -end datagram transmission across multiple IP networks. This rotor has one more essential option called IPT Fun. If your ISP provided an IPTV connection, along with your connection, then this option will be useful for you. And if you want to work with VLAN through advanced networking, then this router option will be very useful for you. And COSIS option is provided in your router if you want to increase or decrease the speed of any device as required. This option allows you to do that. I like that every option of this router is very organized and very well because it is very easy to put these things up front so that even if you are a complete new user, you can use or work every option very well. For example, if you want to set up custom DNs, notice how nicely that thing is displayed here. Through this option, you can exchange your router from outside your network but before that you must register and open this option with correct information. In this router, you will get the facility of static routing, which I have not noticed in many expensive routers. I really like these types of benefits in a relatively low price. Like other routers, this router has all the necessary options like port forwarding and port trigger. There are also options like DMZ and TTL. There are also necessary options like Universal Plug and play very easily at hand. Security options also include numerous types of modules. Through the modules, it is possible to increase the security very easily by customizing the router, where the router is packed with essential features like firewall, MAC filter, 
IP filter, domain filter, Wi-Fi protected setup, Wi-Fi schedule, remote web, ALG. So I found the router very attractive. There are also system settings. You will get all necessary option modules there. You can change or correct in time zone. The firmware update option is there. The router complete settings backup and restore option is there. You can change the admin password very easily. You can change the language and there is the facility of changing the Bengali language. This router has facilities like schedule time restart. The admin panel has the facility of restarting the router. And there is also the facility of using options such as router factory reset and tr 69 from the admin panel. From the place we can see now, we have reached the last position of this router. And from here, you can diagnose your router. You can see how the router is currently working, whether the internet connections are properly connected, whether the service system of the router is working properly or not. If you do, they will be shown to you on this screen. Through the next options, you can know the details of our internet connection through necessary options like router ping, tracer route NIS lookup, system log. I found that this router has many options that I haven't seen in other company routers at this price point. Besides, this router works with Wi-Fi 6 model signal, so the device's connection with this router is very tight. Hope you all are doing well today.